and make the act comic harmonic. Yeah. 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 Gentlemen, well, welcome to the stage. It's the amazing Gabby Morgan, Paula Radcliffe, and Dave Tua. Welcome to the stage, comic harmonic. Yeah. We've got a Gary! suggestions when we give the call out. We want lots of ideas, lots of suggestions from lots of you. Clock tower. Clock tower. Okay? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Our show is, well, it's like a clock tower. And this is how. <laughs> Our show 
is like a clock tower. It tells the time. 1942. <laughs> Ever the optimist we are. We hope to make you smile. <laughs> Our love is either good with <laughs> <laughs> and we feel we are telling you what to <laughs> do. <laughs> Towers are so tall and magnificent like us. <laughs> advisors to produce a song that helps pull this together and make it work. If you are here with a partner or with a friend, what is something that the two of you have opposing views on? What's something you disagree about? And previously we've done cats versus dogs, we've done should animals be upstairs, we've done non-animal things. Uh, whether cush decorative cushions should be on the bed. Yeah. We've done lots of big topics. All so the big issues, we've been more successful than the UN in resolving. <laughs> <laughs> What's something you've got opposing views on? Give us lots of suggestions. Freud. Freud. Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud. Facial hair. What was the one at the bottom? Facial hair. Facial hair. Likewise, yeah. Well, should we sort of 
Yeah, she no, saw this one, but I was stuck in the dishwasher. I suppose, uh, what, what, what about stuck mm. in the dishwasher are you uh, misaligned on? Is it method, frequency? <laughs> order order of putting things in. The order of putting things in. The technique. Uh, 
Um, and it only covers certain subjects in like a very dry and boring way. Uh, we know that this story is a subject, so we hope to retell uh, the story of a character from history or fiction, um, but modernise it a little bit. Yeah, make it make it more accessible for those who went to normal schools. <laughs> <laughs> which is I'm very judgy tonight. I'm sorry. Which is 94 percent of people, so most people will be all right. Yes. Uh, yeah, so we need someone. Who, whose Napoleon. story do you want to hear? The, what's that song? Napoleon. Napoleon? <laughs> ah, yes. Helen of Troy! Marie Antoinette. Hello. We're just going to keep the, the dicey politics out of the room. Yeah. We want this to be an oasis of fun and great enjoy. We're not, we're not, um, we're not strong enough to think about national socialism. <laughs> There's no good answer to that. <laughs> uh, yes, do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, Napoleon from your understanding? And when we say a little bit, we don't mean a four-hour. <laughs> I have no understanding of Napoleon. Oh, so you've got to learn about that. Uh, so you're going to educate me. Thankfully, we're experts on that. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor, the lesson. To knowledge the of the yeah. audience. Yeah. Um, what do you folks think about <laughs> 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 Very small. Okay. <laughs> What's it called? The ego. The ego. Not like in the Beyonce. The ego. Far more interesting. Had a lot of eagles. Had a lot of eagles. Shall we teach them? Oh. Let's do this. <laughs> Harmonic in the house. <laughs> 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 well, France is a big country, you know, in terms of area, at least say so. But when it comes to people they produce, there ain't so many to know about. There's so many that had a good go though, but so few made it to the headlines. So, let us tell you about the man Napoleon Bonaparte the third year. Hey, his name is Napoleon. He was a social chameleon. He <laughs> thought he was a cool dude, but he wasn't really. And also he was a little bit short. He wouldn't <laughs> have a complex about it. No that complex was, at no all, because who would have one of those when you're small? Well, well, Napoleon had <laughs> well, no ego, but he thought he'd take on the world and build up a great big empire, because size definitely doesn't matter, you see. Not to get Frenchy there, nappy. Yeah, he, he went to Russia, he had ways of communicating, but they took so long that by the time the message got there, there was no point hearing it because it was so out of date. Yeah. So was, out of date was the message that they received, and in fact, I believe he lost. Battle of somewhere. <laughs> we have <laughs> that's, why, that's totally not why we asked the question to the audience. But who wants to talk of military defeats? Not not the French, no. But if you go to Google and you search for French military victories, you know what you'll get? It'll come back with a did you mean French military defeats, yeah. Ooh, Sass. <laughs> yes. And it's hard to treat someone badly if they are suddenly so far away, yeah. <laughs> you can't reach them to give them some sass or maybe a slap around the chops or whatever they need. But Why do you think no one has beef with Usain Bolt? Because he's so fast. He's <laughs> away from his problems because he's super speedy because he does the 100. <laughs> He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. Yeah, not like Napoleon, man. But you know the thing that people don't always realize about Mr. Bonaparte? What he had was a real penchant for the old game shows. Yeah, he planned in advance, see? He saw 200 years into the future and he thought what they needed just off the coast of La Rochelle in western France was a great big fort so they could build it and Fort Royal was the result. This is 100% true and I don't know why you don't believe it. I'm telling you right now, the French they built was under the sea 
And now they've got this great running TV show that's been going since the 1980s, yeah. They've got all the challenges, the ordeals as well, they've got tigers, they've got gold if you get the clue word right, yeah. Mortal peril is what the people face on their show if they mess up. The tigers will come and eat your soul. They are badasses, don't mess with them. Never mess with tigers. Oh no, but the dwarfs, well you can if you want, you know. Pass two, hey, pass part two. Don't mess with the little bull though, he's got the gong. Hey, Dave, I think we got off topic. We should probably wrap this up. Sure, wrap this up like Napoleon. Wrap this up like Napoleon. <laughs> That's quite indie down in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm. um, as well as educating, as well as resolving conflicts, um, we uh, also uh, provide other services to the medium of song. Um, and uh, the next thing, uh, we, we just shout vengeance, pretty much. Um, so, who is uh, someone who has wronged you recently? And we're not talking like murder and infidelity, but just like the. Yeah, if they've murdered you, let's not bring that up now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Uh, yeah, who, who, who has wronged you uh, in, in your life? And I suppose, what, what have they done? Yeah, accusations about the good problem. At least now she's a result. <laughs> <laughs> I got beaten in every game of Wii Sports today. Say again? I got beaten in every single every game, game of Wii Sports. Every game of Wii Sports? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what and, and this is a reason for vengeance? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was going to announce with Wii Baseball on the way here. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, what's the name of the offending person? Sophia. One more time? Sophia. 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 Thank you. What's your name? Hayden. 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 We'll see how this goes. We've not done this with someone in the room before, have we? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just preemptively say to Sophia, you're clearly a wonderful person, you're a comic harmonic um, th This song comes from Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> Any musical vengeance dealt out to you in song, and uh, we will not take legal responsibility for. Any responsibility? No, no. Any time. Yes. Most of the feats of these sports, yeah, we can talk Oh, wonderful, like, like. 
I'm glad you've got the right conclusion from that then. <laughs> okay, so um, we've got some good news to share, haven't we, Gary? Indeed. It's, it's a very exciting time, and we're delighted you're all here. I mean, some of you that on the newsletter you might have heard already, there's whispers in the wind. But um, we've got a new, uh, a new album coming out. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be uh, available on all the streaming sites from tomorrow morning, we you know, all your record shops. Uh, yeah, we, we hope you like it. It's quite a personal record. And yes. We've, we've put a lot of hard graft into this record. And we think it's something that the fans will enjoy and also go a bit more mainstream. That's, yeah. That's the plan anyway. Um, break America. Yeah. <laughs> In the, the music industry sense. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I digress. You're all fun tonight. Well, okay. Um, oh, hang on. Did we did we get signed for the title? Sorry, we were talking between the few titles. Oh yeah, we need approval from our uh, manager. Who's, uh, I believe sorry. they're sitting in the let audience. Me, let me just check with the manager. Oh yeah. Okay. <coughs> sorry. Um, you know we were talking between the two. <laughs> <laughs> which, one we in the which one did we do with you? Or <laughs> 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 well, perhaps Tom's the board thing. of directors might. <laughs> 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 Honestly, you get a team and they all just absolve to me. Yeah, you really think that's Maybe it's just you put me on the spot here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going with it. We'll, we'll decide between a few different yeah. titles, and uh, you put me on the spot, and it was, it was okay. <laughs> yeah, kind of a feeling we have of, of you know, when uh, you go, you're going through life meandering your way, and you think, yeah, you're just doing your own thing, and then suddenly the, you, you call upon something, and you just you didn't see it coming. Yeah, it's very scary it's and very embarrassing. Very scary, yeah. very embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we try not to make it happen, but no. <laughs> it does, uh, we write a song about it, and yeah. the title track uh, from the album, we're, we're going to start with that. We're, we're going to do you a couple of snippets from some of the songs on the album, just a sneak preview so you, you, you can buy it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So yeah this is uh, On The Spot. <laughs> Spots. 
Scott, what you doing? Yeah, what you doing? <laughs> Yeah, so that, that's the title track of the album, and it's, it's, yeah, I mean, I think we can all share the frustration. Um, frustration is also a theme of a uh, song that the all of us is a particular, so, frustration, stroke, anticipation. You know when you go to a hotel, I mean, we're always on the road, so we're always popping into <laughs> new places on the way. You go to a hotel, and you're wondering, well, What's in the room? What have they provided? What's the tea and coffee selection? Is there peppermint tea? <laughs> That's the question you're always asking, isn't it? Uh, yes, always. I, I'm always asking if there is peppermint tea. <laughs> and is it, you, you, you regale it, but there's a particular excitement and wondering, will there be some? And when there isn't, like, we give a distance, don't we, Gary? You don't want to be around all of our peppermint tea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm really a fan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this song uh, is about uh, my love for peppermint tea mm -hmm. uh, and, and what I do if I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Just hoping that the right can 
Tricky key. Yeah, especially in her rage. <laughs> Deluxe version of the album, you'll hear. Uh, it's fair, Gary's a bit of a purist. He didn't want to do a lip as um, vocals um, uh, reimagined uh, in, a, in a tenor voice. Um, that is the most merciful thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> It did take a few takes to record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here she was the best thing, but uh, <laughs> you know, managed to not totally damage the friendship between her and Harry. Carrie's first connection, isn't she? Yeah. We, um, we'll do one more for you, Charlie. Yeah, we'll do one more. Which one Which one should we do, Gary? Which of the track listings? Wow. Um, I think the producer um, <laughs> is favourite. Oh, yeah. The producer yeah. did have a favourite, didn't they? Yeah, the producer's in the audience. So. <laughs> I mean, the don't tonight. The horse here, let's. The producer. Jack, it's a Yeah, I get you. Yeah, what reminds me, what, what was the. Uh, we did this in several yeah. moods and versions. Yeah. What was the mood? How do you describe the feel of the song? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Potatoes, you are so versatile. But you're so good, it's worth waiting a little while. Get yourself in the oven for maybe 45. And with some butter melted, you'll make me feel so alive. Than, than, than this side. <laughs> um, I don't think we dressed that badly. I think we should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should. 
think it's going to make for a better show. I think so. <laughs> Engagement, collaboration. We're going to need some volunteers <laughs> in a moment. Uh, you're going to be doing a little, little dancing, thank you, Viola. Things you don't need for this include any dancing ability whatsoever, <laughs> any improv knowledge or experience, any knowing how to be on stage, any bravery, anything like that. <laughs> All you need to be able to do is kind of watch someone and kind of copy what they're doing, basically. That's yeah, I, I went to uh, the um, Juilliard School of Dance in uh, the States. I'm highly trained. I will uh, show you the moves. Yeah. And uh, you should be able to copy it seamlessly and uh, we'll be down my Latin American, she's not so good at that. No, 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 The they ballet, don't do that the everything else, else yeah, yeah. she's got made. So, this is particularly good. You know, if you're watching the show thinking, oh, I could never do that. But there's a part of you secretly wishing that you could. It's really good for that. <laughs> so, we're going to do this. Could you please, every single one of you, put your hand up. Just trust us, every single one of you, put your hand up. <laughs> oh, every one of you. Now close your eyes, okay, now if you really don't want to be part of this, please put your hands down. I should probably put my hand up then. Okay, uh, open eyes and hands down and all that kind of nonsense. Can we please welcome to the stage our wonderful dancers? There's the lady in the, the black and blue right at the back, I think. Yeah. Uh, the lady in the there. Uh, the I'm looking at and pointing at him. <laughs> had his hand up a moment ago. Uh, <laughs> While they're regaling the stories of the Juilliard School, which is so posh I've never heard of it, I, I can only assume it's not one of those normal schools we were talking about earlier. Uh, but I, um, like you, ladies and gentlemen, I have uh, I have passions. I have things that I I really feel in my bones, and I it's like burning passion. I can only sing about one of them tonight. Lots of songs written because you know it's what we do on the road, but. To do, and sure we've got something in common. What is something that you really love or really hate? And let's avoid politics and religion, but what's something that you have a real passion for, either really loving it or really hating it? Lots of suggestions. Chocolate. Yeah, what was that one? Chocolate. Chocolate. Please. Weather. Pardon? Chips. <coughs> the weather. The weather. All weather. <laughs> <laughs> the nature. I thought the NHS would be popular. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Uh, yeah, I've got feelings about chocolate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I might share them. Our dancers are crammed in that Oh, perfect. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> what a privilege. Nice to work with professionals. You know y'all, I've got something to tell you. Something I need you to hear. Something that's so very close to my heart. Well, when it comes to Christmas or birthday, Tell your friends and family, they'll say, here's a gift for you. Not much thinking went into it. Yeah, it's, it's some chocolate. That stuff is toxic. Yeah, that stuff is toxic. My body. It's a temple, <laughs> and that stuff is toxic. Yeah, you wouldn't give it to your dog, because you know it'll make him ill. So what you're trying to do to me is your aim to injure or kill. Everybody that stuff damages myself. 
world. <laughs> it can go back to where it came from, from the depths of hell. Cause that stuff is toxic. <laughs> that stuff, it's toxic. My body is a temple. And that stuff is toxic. Yeah, that stuff is toxic. That, that stuff, it's toxic. My body, it's temple. Chuck, well, it's, it's toxic, y'all.
Vasectomies. So, yeah. What's a reason for celebration? Lots of suggestions. Lying. <laughs> Lying. <laughs> yes. New haircut. New haircut. <laughs> Leaving your job. Leaving your job. <laughs> <laughs> We can celebrate that for you. Yeah, you can celebrate I've got hair. You have? <laughs> Not of it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's right here. <laughs> Thank you all so much. It's been a pleasure to perform for you. I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you for supporting live comedy and music. And music. Oh, I did, 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 I did,